Welcome back to Houston Life. It's one of Houston's most popular celebrations. The original Greek festival is back. It's 57th year this weekend. It is very popular, by the way. You gotta go if you haven't checked it out yet. Visitors can count on three whole days of authentic dancing, homemade food, and of course, shopping. Lauren Kelly is in Montrose this afternoon where the festival will take place. And Lauren, it all starts Friday, right? And that is correct, Derek. You know what? We're going to get to all those things, the food and the dancing and the other traditional shopping items. But I want to talk about something that we've never been able to feature here on Houston Life before. And that is the original Greek Orthodox Church that we are in right now. This cathedral is absolutely magnificent. I'm going to get some stories behind it. But first, I want to talk to Dana. You have been with the Greek Fest for how many years now? My whole life. Your whole life. <laughs> so you grew up over here. You've probably been one of the dancers for many years. You've had probably a hand in every single part, right? I wouldn't go that far, but I've hand in a lot of them. <laughs> a hand in a lot of them for sure. So for anybody, which I'm sure is only a handful of people now in Houston that has not been to the Greek festival, what can they expect? Because it is family friendly fun for the entire three days. Absolutely. We're family friendly. We're family oriented. It's three days where we get to show off our cathedral and our community. And we've been prepping for it for months. We open rain or shine tomorrow at 5 p.m. And so we go tomorrow night and then we go Friday and Saturday, 11 to 1030 all day long. And we'll have a children's playground. We have a gift shop. We have dancing, cathedral tours, and on and and food. Delicious. And I was gonna homemade say homemade food. You say a children's playground, but this is kind of an adult playground it as is. well. We have wine, we have we have Greek beer this year, we have craft beer, and we have delicious homemade treats that our community volunteers have been prepping for the last few months I mean, to get ready a, for this everyone. This is a huge festival in Houston. So why do you think it's been remaining so popular for so long? I think it's um, the Philoxenia behind it, which is sort of the open heart that we have to show the, com the city of Houston and the rest of the community, our city, and what we come to every Sunday. And that's really why we do it. And what I love about the Greek culture is it's all about tradition. It's it tradition. Is. There's a lot of it involved. There's yeah. a lot of it that goes on and on and on from the from back before we even know. Okay, well, hang on to that, Dana. You're going to show us some of the food and the, and the dancers coming up in just a bit. But, Father Michael, we have got to talk about this magnificent cathedral that we, we are in right now because you've done a lot of renovations, and some of the artwork above us that we're looking at is part of those renovations, too. Right. We, we recently installed some new iconography, so iconography plays a really important role in, in our faith, in, in uh, how people understand the scriptures. And so when people come to the festival this weekend, they can... Uh, Come in. We have church tours all, you know, all throughout the weekend, and this new iconography I think will really help uh, solidify and explain a lot of what the Orthodox Christian faith is all about. And you know what? You and I were chatting off camera a little bit about where the church began here in Houston. This was not even its original location. No. So the church, uh, the cathedral here, moved here in around 1950. The original location where is near City Hall, where Tranquility Park is now. So uh, the original Greek Orthodox Church was uh, founded. There in 1917, so I guess what we're now in our 160th year of existence as a, as a parish, and so we've been here on Yoakum Boulevard since uh, 1950, and and we did a beautiful expansion, and we look forward to having people come come visit us this weekend. One of my favorite things I told you when I think of Greek architecture mm -hmm. is the big dome mm -hmm. with the big white buildings and the big blue. When I'm thinking of Greece, I'm thinking of Santorina. Is, right. Santorini. is that kind of reminiscent of what we're seeing here in this cathedral? Right. So the, so the domes uh, in, in the Orthodox Christian faith have a, a really uh, significant theological meaning to them, which we explain in the tour. So the dome, uh, most Orthodox churches have a dome. So the dome uh, uh, simply means that, that uh, Christ bent the heavens and came down to meet us where we are. And so in the Protestant churches, you might see a, see a, a steeple like in New England, where it's the people going up to God, but the theology of Orthodox Christianity is, is God came down to us to meet us where we are. Well, the renovations are just magnificent. The cathedral looks beautiful, and I'm, I'm very excited that people can come and learn more about the Greek culture this weekend. We're, we're looking forward to having everybody out here. All right, greekfestival.org is where all the info is, but like I said, do not go anywhere. We are going to bust out some dance moves. I will not be dancing, but we've got the food to join us coming up from the Greek festival here in just a bit. Derek and Tessa, back to you guys in Studio B. Oh my gosh, Lauren, what a beautiful, beautiful cathedral. Thanks for showing us that, and we can't wait. I mean, the food, the dancing, of course, but what a beautiful building. So we love, I love the Greek festival. I do too, and it's great because the crowds are big outside, and you wait in line to get food mm -hmm. and wine and mm -hmm. all of that, but then you can also step aside and have a moment to take in all the beauty. Yes, absolutely.
right, so families, clear your schedules. It's going to be a magnificent weekend outside, and you need to make plans to get right on down here to the 57th annual Greek Festival. It is back. We are in Montrose today. Dana, I'm so excited for this because we are too. I know <laughs> Houstonians love the Greek Festival, and they love coming out and experiencing the culture. They do, and that's one of the reasons we continue to do it because it is definitely a labor of love. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been out here since last week, right? At In the, the rain. At the very least, yes. <laughs> rain or so, shine, we are here, and so hopefully you all will absolutely. be. Absolutely, and I promise the guys, our viewers, a little bit of details on some of the food, because the food plays a major portion of some of the festival, and a lot of this stuff is handmade. All of it. Everything, all of this stuff is handmade. Yes, everything on this that you all are looking at, and then some, is all done by hand by the community members. Okay, so Dana, we did get to try some of this stuff in our Houston Life studio the, the other day, but for people who have not experienced any type of traditional Greek food, can you tell us what we're seeing and starting on this side? Sure, I can give you a little breakdown. That's okay. spanakopita, which is a spinach and feta rolled in phyllo. And then we have a tiropita, which is a cheese puff, the triangular one, which okay. is, um, and then we have pastizio, which I think is what Lenny's looking at now. Pastizio? Pastizio. Oh, yes, ma'am. It's like a Greek lasagna. We have um, noodles and seasoned meat and bechamel, and it is delicious. You will want more. For and that's sure. just one portion, or is that, that like is six one piece? Portions. No, that is one piece. Okay. We want. We like. We Greeks like you fed. <laughs> we want you fed. Okay, um, and this looks definitely like some dessert. So we hear our dessert. So everyone knows baklava. So yes. we have baklava here, which is honey and nuts and flaky phyllo, and then we have in the front there kulurakia, which are a. Um, is that this one? That is that one, okay. yes. I say you should have it with your coffee, but you Ooh. can have it any time of day. Okay. Next to that is Finikia, which has the nuts on top. This one. With um, cinnamon and nutmeg. And then we have Curabiedes, which is similar to a Mexican wedding cookie. Okay. And then in the middle there is Rizogolo, which is rice pudding. And then in the back we have Tsureki, which is a sweet pita bread. That looks amazing. And it's braided so beautifully. It is. I cannot braid. In case you were, I'm not, that is, I can't do the Kulurakia or the Tsureki. I'm, so I failed that class. As far as authentic beers coming, I know our friends at No Label are going to be out here, and you also have some other traditional beers, too. So we do. We actually have Fix, Elas, that we um, brought in from Greece, and last year we tried it, and we brought a small sampling in, and it went out faster than we knew what to do with ourselves, so we brought quite a bit more okay, in this time. Good. We also have domestic beers and craft beer available. We have a huge selection. I say huge. It's it's big. It's, it's a big, big selection. Six yeah. bottles of wine. Um, we have included rosé, as which we did last year for the first time, which was very successful, as well as white and red. And then our gift shop has everything from foods you want to buy and take home with you to shoes and jewelry and trinkets and icons. T-shirts. And T-shirts and candles. And what about a recipe book? Do you have food recipes? We do. Oh, yes. Look, thank you so much, Lauren. <laughs> yes, we do. We have an original Greek festival cookbook that we has the festival recipes just made so that you all can make them It's at home. easy. It's ABC123 for people like me, right? Absolutely. Okay, and me wonderful. too on most cases. Okay, okay. So I want to bring the girls back in. Please tell us who we have dancing with us today. We have some of our Greek festival night dancers. Okay. So Of course you could not have a Greek festival without the traditional dancers. Without the traditional dancer. Right, right. Dances and the dancers. Right. They have been working since July, if I'm not mistaken, on their practicing and getting ready. And they will start tonight at 6... PM, I believe, is their okay. first show. Maybe 6.30, they're all looking at me. Um, <laughs> and then we have children dancing on Saturday, okay. beginning at 11.30, and then the night starts every night. We last, have night dancers every night. Last question for you, Dana. Do you have to have a ticket before you come? No. we are. Everyone can come. Cash, credit card. We have ATMs on site. Okay. All you have to do is show up, and we will be here. Rain and or shine. Rain or shine. And you have to say the secret word, right, ladies? The secret word is... Opa! Opa! <laughs> I was going to get you guys to say it again no matter what. Greekfestival.org, or I'm going to put a link up on our website Perfect. at HoustonLife.tv for anybody else that wants the information. Thank Look you. Look at these you. ladies looking so nice in this beautiful, this rainy weather, right? I know. And they're, those, those are some heavy costumes. Some heavy costumes. They pull it off well. Derek and Tessa, what do you think? You want to join me this weekend at the Greek Festival? Uh, absolutely. Yes. We love it. We love it. Everything. All about it. Everything sure. about it is wonderful. We can't awesome. wait. Thanks, Lauren Kelly. I have such fond memories of waiting in line to get bottles of wine and food and meeting people. And you were there last year too, right? I do. I do. I have a, I have a story from the Greek festival that is very funny. I remember doing what you said, getting in line for the bottles and, and waiting for the food. And I was with, there with a group of friends and I had a date there with oh. me. And I remember thinking, God, this would be the perfect night if my date wasn't here. <laughs> but everything else, the Greek festival, I'm going back. I'm going back without him. It's going to be a Perfect, okay. perfect night. I hope he's not watching right now, but it, it really is worth going. <laughs> you'd, you'd have to have taste. Up. You'd have to have taste to okay. watch, okay? We'll be right back. <laughs> it is one of my favorite events. It's